Hi, it's Greg Hurrell with Vim Screencast Series. I've spent the last couple of screencasts talking about splits, how to do the basic operations with them, um, how to resize them. Um, before I go on to talk about tabs, there's one more split related thing that I want to cover, and that is how to move windows around. Uh, so let me just get a couple of windows open, uh, just so that we have some material to, uh, to talk about. Um, uh, let's open something else here. Maybe. Now I've got three vertical splits, that'll do. Um, there is a kind of cute novelty command for rotating tabs. That would be Control W, Shift R. Um, I tend not to use this very often, but every now and again, it is exactly what you want. Um, and I think the case where it tends to come up, actually, let me make a horizontal split. The case where it tends to come up is where you realize, oh, this thing that I'm looking at here, uh, maybe this one, doesn't deserve to be down in the corner there. I kind of want to rotate them around until it's maybe in the middle there. So I could use Control W R. Oh, it only rotates in the column. Obviously, I don't use this often enough to, to know really how it works. Um, sometimes it does what I want. What's it going to do when I do it in this one? Nothing. That one doesn't do anything at all. Oh, because it says cannot rotate when another window is split. Error 443. So it's a little bit of a finicky beast, a little bit of a uh, novelty, like I said. Not something I use a lot. Uh, but something I do use a lot, which I'm now going to show, um, is the kind of thing that will happen when I'm like deep in an editing session and I realize that the file that I'm looking at is worthy of some more attention. So, I don't know, <laughs> this one, for some reason, needs more attention. Uh, or actually, let me, I'm sure I could do better than this. Uh, let's get something like, yeah, this random Python file, all the way out there. I'm not sure why it ended up there, but it did anyway. I realized that I want to dedicate my full attention to this file. And so I can use that trick that I talked about before of control W underscore and control W vertical bar to maximize, but then I can't see anything at all. It's just all zoomed into this file. So I'm gonna go control W equals. Let's say I just wanna give this a bit more space than it had. I can use control W followed by shift H, J, K, or L to throw the window all the way to the top, bottom left or right of the screen. So control W uh, K is gonna throw it up to the top. Uh, control W Shift K. I'm going to throw it all the way up to the top, make it full width. Control W Shift J throws it all the way down the bottom. Control W Shift H to the left. Control W Shift L to the right. That's pretty handy. Um, so with a combination of those moves, I can generally get my focus exactly where I want it to be. Um, the other thing that I will be talking about later um, is this question of visual focus. You may have noticed as I'm moving around these uh, panes the focus is kind of following me around. Um, I don't have a plugin for that. It's in my dot files, uh, and I think it's worthy of a deeper exploration, so I'm gonna save it for another talk. But that also helps me deal with a large number of splits where without this visual aid, I might not know what's happening. So thanks for watching this one. I'm gonna cut it here, and the next one's gonna be about tabs.